I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's popping Staples say it's a beautiful day outside. Now that seniors are gone, I can park on campus and we have some fantastic pieces for you. Like the ultimate frisbee team. Donuts, the new Staples TV network, and 13 reasons why. But first, good morning, morning Staples! Well, clearly Callum's not on the Ultimate Frisbee team, but a lot of Staples students are. Here's what we got. In case you didn't know, Staples now has an Ultimate Frisbee team. We spoke with coaches and players and learned more about their journey to becoming a varsity sport. Well, Staples High School is actually one of the first uh, high schools in the country to have Ultimate Frisbee back in the 1970s. Um, Al Jolly, who's still a teacher here, was actually one of the uh, founding coaches of the team. Um, but recently, since I started here four years ago, the last three years I've been trying to get a team back together. Um, mostly with Ryan Peterson, who's one of our main players right now, has been working with me. So, Ultimate Frisbee is my favorite sport. Um, what I love about it is that it is a uh, athlete-focused sport. So there are no referees. Everything's about spirit of the game. Students make all their own calls, make all their own plays. Um, I, as a coach, am just there to help teach them how the game works and to answer any questions they may have along the way and give them some advice. We then spoke with Captain Ryan Peterson about his experiences with the team. Here's what he had to say. Peterson told us about how he and a group of friends played in pickup games at Wigman, which inspired them to, with the help of Mr. Brown, start this fun program up again. As a captain, he helps others improve their game. 
He explained how different Ultimate is than any other sport, saying that there is something so special about the way a variety of throws can be achieved with a disc. Goals for our team is to become a varsity sport someday. Uh, we are told that to do that we need to have uh, consistent membership and that we also have to play interscholastically. So we've started doing that as we can. Um, can be co-ed, doesn't have to be all guys. Right now we have mostly men with one girl on the team consistently. Um, but we'd certainly love to build uh, both just in general numbers and also in having more diversity. Well, this is our first tournament, the, the last one, the tournament, the one that we just did. Um, we played against Avon, we played against Fairfield, we played against uh, Cheshire, a couple other schools in Connecticut. Um, right now, there's only about 20 high schools in Connecticut that have competing teams. Uh, so we kind of play against whoever we can. We're looking forward to seeing the upcoming success of this program. And if you're interested in joining, they're always looking for more players. For Good Morning Staples, I'm Kevin Raybax. You know, recently there's been a craze that's been going around the school. Quite honestly, I just don't care for it. Yummy! Here's what we got. A while back, the Staples Cafeteria introduced donuts to the morning breakfast menu. Some flavors include glazed and jelly. We went around Staples asking students what they thought about it and if it was worth the price. Have you tried the new donuts here at Staples? Yeah, I had the glazed donut and the uh, powder donut. Uh, I tried them both a few days apart a few weeks ago. Wasn't too impressed. What do you think of the donuts here at Staples? I think they're really tasty. What do you think of the at least great variety that they offer here? I mean, for a school, I guess it's a good variety, but if you're comparing it to almost any donut shop, um, it's not that good of a variety, especially like Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts or Coffee Inn. They have like at least 10 times as many donuts as they have here. There, now, there's a very impressive variety here. Have you taken advantage of that and tried different kinds? I've only tried the glazed donut, and I like it. I mean, I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I, I will soon. Do you think they're worth the $1.25 that it costs to take one? I think it's a fair price. What's appealing about them? I mean, they, they look kind of good, but it's just my, my mom doesn't like when I buy snacks at school. Yeah, not worth the price? Nope. Would you call yourself a donut fanatic? Uh, one would say that, yeah. What's the appeal of having donuts here at Staples, and do you think we should keep them? Um, well, Staples is a school of hustle and grind. And uh, every day, we like to grind even harder than the day before. So I think on donut, we really uh, emphasize and um, expedite the nutrients that it takes to properly uh, have a grind sesh. So I think that definitely would be a thing to have in the future. As you can tell, the addition of donuts has made quite the impression to the Staples students, and they seem to be here for years to come. For Good Morning Staples, I'm Will Casey. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life The Staples TV Network is being redone. That means the show is going to be bigger and better. Stay tuned for some next level content. This past year, there have been many big changes to the TV production class and how it is structured. Next year, there are going to be even more big changes. We sat down with Mr. Nadal, the TV production teacher, and talked about what the changes are. 
Well, the big thing we're trying to do is we're trying to give students more opportunity um, here as broadcasters, as filmmakers, as people doing video and editing and being creative. We're trying to give them more opportunities. One of the ways we're going to do that is next semester we're building a studio. We're going to have Good Morning Staples is going to evolve more into a studio program as well as doing the things that everyone looks forward to as far as the entertainment and the news stuff. But we're trying to do more of a, um, a studio format for the show as well. Um, we're also going to be doing more things as far as giving students opportunity to do more more programming. Uh, we want to try and set up a morning show on um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays called the Fast Break, something before school starts. A 10-minute news show with world, national, local, um, Westport news, um, weather, sports uh, highlights, and sports news from uh, Staple Sports that goes on the night before. And we want to do that live if we can. I think that having more chances to do um, wonderful things that happen here at Staples is really going to elevate what the students do both on a, on a co competitive level and just on a, on a personal pride level and their ability to increase their skills so that when they go to college they'll already have a year or two ahead of most of the kids that are going in the broadcasting field or in the film school field. The biggest change first is that we're, we're acquiring new equipment to build a studio and then that's going to be the first step in what's going to be a change in the way we teach this class, the television broadcasting class. But if you have been, if you have taken the class once before, you'll go into what's called TV2. and TV2, you'll be able to hit the ground running with all the skills you learned in TV1. So that's something that hasn't been offered here before. We're really excited about that. We also asked students what their opinions are on the current class and the changes being made for the future. What did you think about last semester's class? Um, I really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun learning how to shoot videos and edit them, and especially like interviewing people and just learning like life skills and how to talk to people. What are you excited about for the next year's class? Uh, I'm excited to see the program just like evolve because I think it's getting a lot bigger and a lot more students are signing up to take the class. And I think like having live shoots and doing uh, news from all around the world, not just here at school, will be really cool to see. What are your opinions on the changes being made to the TV production class? I think it's really interesting and I think that I would definitely be interested in joining one of these clubs or activities because I think that um, Staples doesn't know a lot about TV in general. When choosing classes, I don't think a lot of Staples students think about TV produ production as an option. And also TV plays a huge role in our lives. So I think that these clubs and activities would be really beneficial. With the changes being made to the TV production class here at Staples, there's a new wave of excitement from students. For Good Morning Staples, I'm Ryan Weisgerber. Recently, the Staples community had a strong reaction to a popular Netflix show called 13 Reasons Why. Here's what we got. Over the last few weeks, the Netflix original show, 13 Reasons Why, has been gaining attention and popularity. There's controversy and concern over whether or not it could be spreading dangerous ideas into the minds of its viewers. What we're finding, what we've been hearing about and getting a lot of articles talking about is that 13 Reasons Why... People use the word romanticize as what happens, um, but it's more about the fact that suicide has a lot of things behind it, and it's never really just about one event in a person's life. And so in that show, um, the person who commits suicide spends a lot of time putting blame on other people and trying, um, kind of getting back at the people that sh put her in the position she's in. And what's happening around the country is people are now using that as a way to say, oh, so I can use my own suicide as a means to get back at the people that I'm upset with. Um, and our concern is that students are, or not students here, but young people in general are seeing that as a way to um, avenge themselves or a way to fight back when they can't find another means. And it really isn't what suicidality is meant to be or what it really usually ends up being, that there's a lot of other emotional turmoil, a lot of other history, a lot of other things that people are dealing with. Um, and we would rather they still look to find support from people um, as opposed to trying to take it out against other people in that way. We asked some of the fans of the show whether or not they feel concerned, and here's what they said. I thought it was really good and it was like very suspenseful but like some of it was really dramatic and like dr like dragged out. Um, I really liked it and I thought it was a good accurate um, representation of like a lot of hard things that do occur in real life. Do you think it could be harmful because of the way that it romanticizes the idea of suicide? Um, I think it definitely could because like Hannah Baker it was like her idea was to get revenge on people and like with those tapes or at least let them know what she did so then 
if and that's exactly what happened like their lives were kind of ruined so if people want to do that they can see that it's effective so like that could be harmful um I do I think that it was like intense and hard to watch at some points so yeah it's been renewed for season two whether or not you choose to watch or continue watching the show, be aware of how it's affecting those in the community and even yourself. For Good Morning Staples, I'm Dagan Gilbranson. Want to hear music like this? Or like this? And this is the show for you. Staples Choir presents Cabaret, a show with students and alumni that's never been done before here at Staples. Choral director Luke Rosenberg says the music is like nothing what they usually perform during the year. So like I said, I mean, it's not choral music. They're all solo soloists. Um, but we have musical theater being sung. Most of it is, is musical theater repertoire and then uh, some pop. Um, yeah, but basically the music theater and pop. To see and hear the stars of Staples past and present, Come to Staples Cabaret, May 19th at 7.30 in the Staples Auditorium. For Good Morning Staples, I'm Noah Tanner. Well, that's all the pieces we have for you today. Thank you for another great show. I'm your host, Aiden Riley. I'm Tom Gordon. Remember to have a good morning, Staples. <laughs>